Shut up and sit down. I'm Vivek, I'm the tech manager at Consecure. So, in terms of who and uh, why uh, people in India should be using Bitcoin, uh, let me touch up on the kind of like uh, users, use cases of Bitcoin, who all can use Bitcoin in their day to day life. Uh, now, Bitcoin is something like a digital currency. Uh, in India, there are a lot of people who are familiar with net banking and online banking. A lot of people go to online shopping websites like Amazon, Flipkart, etc. And it's, it's kind of like a part of their day to day life. A lot of people are transacting online. So in terms of a, a digital currency that can actually have a global acceptance and people can use it everywhere in the world. Apart from that, uh, in terms of uh, Bitcoin, uh, let's say if you want to buy a pizza, you just go about and order a pizza. Uh, what happens in, in today's situation is you go to Domino's or something, you call them up, they deliver the pizza to you via their uh, two wheelers or something. They know all the shortcuts in the country. Uh, whichever city you are, so they basically deliver your visa within 30 minutes. Now let's imagine the same thing was adopted by a drone. There are already services which actually are trying to do uh, drone delivery of visas. So with Bitcoin what happens is, you don't have to like uh, wait for uh, calling up a pizza delivery guy or Domino's as a company. So what you can do is basically go to the web, uh, internet, just uh, hire a drone, something like Uber. Like you have, to, you are able to book uh, cabs with Uber, right? So you can go about and just uh, hire a drone which is sitting on someone's rooftop. Uh, let's say I have a drone and I have built it and I have left it somewhere uh, just to uh, a charging station or something like that. And this drone basically would keep flying around all over the city and uh, get it, keep getting charged at one particular point. So now if I, if I want to buy a pizza, all I have to do is just uh, pick up whichever drone is nearby to me. Uh, tell that drone to just go to Domino's, pick up my pizza and have it delivered to my place. And this is like IoT. It comes into the space of IoT. With Bitcoin, uh, see, let's say if you are using some kind of a normal net banking system, it's hard to make uh, payments with machines. Uh, now with Bitcoin, the main problem that it solves is it also enables uh, machines to interact with each other because it's a protocol, uh, generally speaking. Bitcoin is a software, it's a protocol that machines can understand. So this way what happens is you don't have to uh, like wait for any kind of a human intervention. All of this can happen automated and machines understand each other and talk to each other and uh, the drone will automatically sync up with the nearest drone, get the uh, pizza picked from one place or maybe a drone to drone. One drone transfers the pizza to another drone and that drone comes like flies in faster and delivers the pizza to your apartment and stuff like this. So this is like really awesome technology and uh, Bitcoin is going to be like uh, kind of like the next big uh, internet uh, era kind of thing. So yeah.